a game. Number two here in the semifinal round, Tim Duffy, Jake McKinnon on the call. How are we? It is Theta Kai against Phi Kappa Psi. The two against the three, and we're underway. We got a big one, folks. Winner plays in the championship. Uh, Tim Briar with his first you know, save of the game, and that's another former URI Ram. little tidbit about Tim. Last year, he carried the Lambda team to a victory. So he is a defending champion, but playing for a different team this year. Taking his route somewhere else. That shot saved again. He saved the Cody Eaton shot that time. And Theta Kai working with him for the first time. Only 10 skaters on Theta Kai here today. This one gets taken back. Chardo. And it's Look a Chardo who again. scored in the first game. That shot, Whoa. what a save by Briard. With ease. As he denies the Ben Lunny look. I'll tell you what, I'm going to bet on Timmy Ballard being an absolute brick wall in this tournament. He looks locked in already. Former Division Three hockey player over at Anna Maria. Very good player. He's a very good player indeed. Got to know him now pretty well over the last couple of years. Both of our names being Tim, of course. Now we got Theta Kai hanging a guy here. They are hanging a guy in the neutral zone. They're just going to try to make it four on four in the defensive zone. And this was ripped away again by Achardo. Achardo sets it up. That oh. shot saved by Briard. Second oh. try from Achardo goes wide to the right. It was Lunny who took the first. Bounces all the way back over to Austin Ashby, who got penalized in the first five-star game. The win over TDX. Spins out of trouble. It's Howard. And Timmy Howard lost control of it for five-star. Some good threads. For five side. We Very talked about in the first game. They Kai Rock in the white unis. Here's O'Brien oh, getting through traffic. O'Brien got that one tipped. Oh. Second chance shot. Save. Third try. Pokes it in at the end of the play. But it's not going to count for Cam Sikosia. I think when they were trying to take that shot there, I think a stick caught one of the players on five side up high there. Forward. That one tried to shoot in there for Clary. Gets by him. Clary able to get it back. Clary tries to get it back to Sakoshi on this oh, one. Oh, he loses the stick. Lost stick. Kicks it to Achardo. Achardo in pursuit. What a play by Lunny. Seriously. To knock it loose. Lost the stick at the end of the play, though. Or not Lunny. That's rather Dylan Schultz. On the other end, though, here's a chance for Theta Kai. That one gets saved by Afidi. Shazi rings one off of the helmet on the goalie there. Clary sends it in the middle. Here's a good chance. Oh. Knocked away by Afidi. And Shaw was right there. And Shaw didn't get a stick on it. Achardo leaves the break. Sets it up. Good chance. Oh, and hits the, the post, post for Schultz. Oh. Off the post. And Eaton oh. shot, scores. Cody Eaton from distance. Puts five side in front. For a lot, Timmy didn't even see the shot. He didn't even see it coming. It stuck in the right side it. of the net. Tim Briard didn't see it. And Cody Eaton knew where to place that one. That's why you shoot pucks, kids. Screen the goalie. Can't even see it. What a snipe from Eaton. We've seen him, you know, kind of creeping at that blue line. On most of the offensive possessions for five side. He gets a good look there and connects. Here's Janaski. Locked. Janaski. Lonnie got in there to send it the other direction for a sec. McDonald. It's getting physical. On the boards in, in the corner. It is getting physical and deal on the boards as we're over halfway through this first half. That one's off the stick of O'Brien. Hey, there's no hidden, but that doesn't mean you can't be physical out here. Ashby able to get it back. This one's taken away. Ashby. Off the wall up ahead for Schultz. It gets by him. It'll be Ganaski hitting up ahead and We'll bounce back over to him. Ganaski. Up to Jonathan Shaw. Here's Shazi, the URI hockey captain, over to Gamara. Robbie Kenyon, big number 69. Gamara. NMH kid. Northfield Mount Herman. Oh, that player. one. Going to get by Shaw. Uncharacteristic for Shazi. As it flies on the other end, they waste oh. the offensive possession there, trying to get it right back. Uh -oh. Shaw leading the regroup. 
Leading the break near side. Shaw uh -oh. wiggles through traffic. Shaw the dangle. Uh -oh. And that shot gets saved and flies into the netting. Oh, oh and what a highlight that would have been. I don't think he's going to miss that one again. I wouldn't let him I wouldn't let him shoot from there personally. He usually I don't know if I would either. Shaw, you know, visibly upset after the play, slamming his stick. Hey, I'll tell you what, that, that kid plays with the heart on his sleeve. He sure does. Here's Eaton. Getting off the faceoff, hits it off the wall, finds Timmy Howard. And out of pile. Ooh. And a nice wiggle to get around the corner. The hands there. Spinning out of trouble and losing the puck at the end of the play. Uh-oh. Can't that get was Olsen, deep. number 13. Olsen going to get it back. Canyon off his stick. Our clock and the action game clock about 25 seconds apart. Eaton trying to get through. Leaves it for behind for Will Devaney. And Devaney couldn't hold on to either. Kamara rips it away from behind. Certainly a lot more chances here for Theta Kai, but... Gamara fires, <laughs> saved by Afidi. Alfidi with another save. McAmish gets by him. And these Thetakai skaters, I mean, like I said, there's only nine of them. Exactly. You got to think that fatigue's going to play it at some point as well. And Shazi still has not come off the ice. And Gamara gets that one that saved by Alfidi again. That shot gets deflected. It was McAmish with the look. Inside the last 90 seconds here of the first half. Kenyon inside. And that shot gets saved again. Let's see what Achardo can do here. McCamish. Here's Achardo getting through traffic with Shaw all over him. So not going to get by too much. And it's right back to Theta Kai. Here's not, Gamara. Not easy to get around Shazi. Gamara oh. gets tripped up. That's going to be a penalty. Uh, It'll be on Achardo or, or Lunny. We'll see who it's against. So free play here real quick. And Kenyon still has it, sets it up behind him. One timer. Now they set it up on the other side. Shaw got it oh. saved. O'Brien the rebound. Kenyon inside. And they're stopping out of there. Now they'll address the penalty Kenyon with 44 the seconds there. to go. And Shaw again, he said, You don't want to let him shoot that same shot. Well, I, I got to shut up, Tim. I, I got to shut up. I'm jinxing him out there. And hey, it's Kenyon over there, a little bit. Almost gave us a little Michigan. Teasing the fans a little bit there. That would have been sick. Uh, that would have got everyone on their feet, I'll tell you that. Power play that will milk into the second half unless Theta can score here for the trip. <laughs> Lunny going to shoot that one down the ice. Kill some clock. 30 ticks to go here at half number one. Big oh. hit. Oh, a big hit. Uh, I think that was Lunny. Here's Shaw on the other end. Shaw saved by Alfidi with 20 seconds left. Sometimes taking a shot and getting an offensive zone faceoff is the best play on a power play. You got nothing on the rush, put it on net, get the faceoff. So we're 24 seconds into the power play. The five size fans are telling the Theta Kai fans to look at the scoreboard. The scoreboard reading 1 0, 10 seconds left. Here's Shaw. Oh. That one gets saved again. Long rebound goes to Clary against the boards. Final seconds. And Five Sai wow. with the lead after nine minutes. Wow. 1 0, the goal from Cody Eaton. Sneaking it by Briard and. Phi Kappa Psi on top at the break. So nine more minutes here in this one. This has been an excellent first period, first half, as I should say, because it's only two of them. Only two. And I mean, you know, Theta Phi Psi, I mean, they have a lot more skaters, mm -hmm. a little bit of a deep into this one, but not by a whole lot. And, you know, they're able to take on a Theta Kai team with a couple of URI players on it. At least former as well, and have a first half lead. Data guy, in my opinion, definitely carried the play, but they're knocking at that door, and they just can't get in yet. How long is Five Side gonna let them keep knocking? I don't know. I think they gotta somehow 
push back. And there's still a minute 15 to go on the power play. We're going to start half number two right now as well. Faisai leading it 1-0 here in the second semifinal game of the URI Fraternity Classic. Nine minutes left. Who wants to go to the ship? Winner plays Cap Sigma. Kappa Sigma in the championship. Loser will go the third place game. That starts in an hour against... Teak Delta Kai, and here's Theta trying to answer quickly. Three on two to open things up. Here's a good look. That shot saved in out the midst of Alfini. Second try for Shaw. Could get a stick on it that time. As Clary got that one saved. Clary, I'm telling you, he's going to be a factor. That kid's dangerous with the puck on his stick. Final 45 seconds of the power play. Here's Gamara. Around the corner, Gamara trying to leave it for O'Brien. Actually takes it himself around the corner. Trying to find someone here. And that one, Fossa got a piece of it. It's bounced up in the air and slapped away by Phi Kappa Psi. Making the play there, there, Austin Ashby. And Theta only 20 seconds left on the power play on the Achardo penalty. I Here's Shaw. Shaw trying to get around Ashby, could not. Shaw gets it tipped away out of his mitts. Ashby pokes out of harm's way. Gamara with eight seconds. Gamara Ooh. made a man miss. Those hands. Defender fell down. O'Brien doesn't see the puck. Last gasp on the power play, and that ends the opportunity for Theta Kai to tie things up. They still have the puck, though. That's a huge kill because, I mean, Getting a Chardo in the box, getting him off the ice for two minutes is big too. Because look now at him now. here is a Chardo. Now. Chardo got it Ooh. saved by Briard. Point Blake. Big stop there. Huge stop. The former URI goaltender. So Brian. Back to Grayson Ahern and now up ahead to Josh Souza. And Souza. Other direction now. Here comes Olsen. And now he gets it back. Olsen oh. trying to squeeze through and Shaw picked his pockets. Yeah, he had him. He had someone back door there. Just couldn't get it to him. And Gamara can't hold on to it. Schultz takes it away. Schultz with a lane. Oh. Schultz cuts inside. Schultz gets it saved. And it's still alive. It came in out of the midst of Tim Briard. Oh. Ew, it almost tripped up there. No call. That was clean. Shaw. Trying to put the quick jets on Dylan Schultz and the brakes put him on his back. McConnell shot gets saved by Alfidi and that goes in out of his glove. Back into play. Shaw. As we're inside the first three minutes of the second half. So we got a righty goalie here, folks. That means he's catching with his right hand. And every time. Oh. Good look from the high slot. Ganaski. Scott saved, but Alfredi, I mean, he's talking about him being a right-handed goalie. He's seen a lot and come his way from both sides exactly. today, and he's had a fantastic output so far in the first 12 minutes of this one. So far, Theta Kai's only really testing his glove side. I think they got to go to his blocker now because he can catch it. Schultz sets it up. Oh. That shot got tipped by McDonald on its way to the net. Schultz trying to catch up to it for Faisai. Here is Schultz, and it gets poked away. Oh, 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 disrespectful, Shazi. And right back. Oh, no. Getting oh. through traffic. Shot saved oh, Lord. by Alfini. Almost some friendly fire there. Shaw got denied again. Here's Kenyon this time, though. Kenyon Ooh. got it saved again. Unbelievable. This guy is standing on his head right now. I mean, Shazi did everything he could there but score. Able to just kick out that left pad with the toe. Looks. One. The goaltender actually this game, Finn Curley. Finn Curley's made a ton of oh, good Clary. saves. And that shot, he saves again. It's still alive. Second there hit. It Shaw punches it, it home and ties the game at one apiece. Here we go, folks. Jonathan Shaw, you knew he was due for one eventually. That's what you think. 
Uh, Faisai's not happy. They're trying to complain to the refs. They're not happy about something there. I think they thought their goalie was interfered with. And 4.20 to go in this one. And this We're gonna is gonna hold up. It really looks like we might be poised for our second straight shootout semifinal game. Well, this tournament has not been shy of drama, I'll tell you that. A lot of drama in this tournament. And it's the witching hour now for both these two teams. Here we go, Clary, Here's what do you got? Sadek, it's Clary, gets it ripped away by Schultz. Clary trying to fight for it back. Who's gonna win that puck? Who's gonna win it? Oh. And a Chardo oh. with some free space. A Chardo save, second try. Freehard clamping that net. There he is. We got a game, folks. It's end to end right now. Here's shot to Kenyon. Kenyon oh. hits, misses it way over the top of the post. Schultz up ahead. Now the move, it's Olsen. Olsen lost it, did it to himself there. A Chardo there to help out. Chardo sets it up. Good look for Schultz and gets oh. saved on the right side of Briard. A lot of traffic in front of him there too. And O'Brien will knock that one away. Kenyon gets his pocket picked. Here's Grayson Ahern up to Kenyon. Kenyon. Oh! 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 The big hit. Wow! Austin Ashby is going to the box for the second time today. Kenyon, Kenyon. Kenyon waves goodbye to him, tells him to go to the box. Tells Ashby, get your butt back in there. He got penalized the first game against TDX. Shout out to Kenyon because that's some amazing hockey flow there too. Good head of lettuce on oh, him. Good head of lettuce. But Arugula. That is Ashby. He got penalized the first game against Pena Delta Kai for the hit. And now this game does as well. Can they capitalize here? Can 0 for they? 1 in this game. Could be the game winner if they can score on the power play here. A minute 40 to go on the power play. Two minutes just about left in regulation. Here's Kamara, Gamara oh. shot saved, it stays in play. Curly didn't know where it went for a sec. That'll wake you up. Long pass. Over to Ganaski. Keeping it alive is McDonald. Ganaski. 45 seconds expired on the power play. Very McDonald, Shaw calling for it. They got to they gotta somehow get this inside. It's way too perimeter right now. I don't like this power play at all. And that shot. There it is. Save second chance. Ganaski can't poke it in. And Curly Put all over it. And now some extracurriculars right there with Camp Sakosha. And a five side player looks to be Eaton, the goal scorer in this game for five side. Oh, they're talking. Uh, and I don't think they're saying nice things to each other over there, Tim. For sure not. And there's, there's a minute. Nine and counting down this one. Clock will stop inside the last 60 seconds on penalties and regular stops of the clock. As this is where legends are made right here. Clock will stop with 59 seconds actually. So who's going to be the hero tonight? We'll see if we get one here in regulation. Ganaski. Oh no! Turned over. Batch over. Here's Dylan Schultz. He's got help. Leading He's got the break. help. Break Schultz. Sets it up, good look, shots oh! again. Schultz puts Faisai in front. Are you kidding me? On the rebound, Dylan Schultz may have just called game from the three seed. Can't make this up, you can't make this up. Short-handed. Short-handed goal that may have just won the game. The roof might come off of this place right now. Good things happen when you go in that, stop in front. That's where you're gonna score. You're not gonna score from the corners. Put pucks on net and go bury that thing. Still 15 seconds left on the power play. Here's Shaw looking for the equalizer. Shaw misses it wide. Shaw, long shot, saved by Curly. Keep shooting that thing. It doesn't have to be pretty. 21 seconds separates Phi Kappa Psi 
from a championship game date with Kappa Sigma. We got a good old fashioned shootout. Stay in space. We're going to see if those goalies can use those to help themselves today here. So it's Gamara who go first. He's got some hands. For Theta Kai. Gamara got it saved by Curley. Wow. By Sai up to try to poke one in. Got a tall task in Tim Briard there. Folks, you could cut the tension with a knife. And Lunny got it saved. Able to squeeze the pads. Trying to beat him five hole there. Tim said, no way, Jose. Briard makes the big save on Ben Lunny. So two up, both missing. It's round two now. And you know, this is starting to really intensify. Without even being up. said. The guy with two goals already in this game. Here's Shaw, who scored twice in the second half. Shaw Off hits the, the post. post. Does it go through? They're going to say. I think they said no. Oh, my God. No good for Jonathan Shaw. I feel like I'm watching an episode of True Crime right now. I mean, I'm on the edge of my seat. A Chardo. Another goal scorer. Trying to get the first one. Having a hot night. Can you keep it going? Here is Achardo. Colby Achardo gets by Briard and got save. it saved. And what a save from Briard again. Brick the Briard. The winning, the defending winning goalie from last year of this tournament. Big signing for Theta Kai. We'll see if it'll pay off for him. Here's Kenyon. After getting his helmet taken off, can he get payback? Robbie Kenyon looking for the first and no one can get by these two goaltenders. We're going to extra rounds, folks. This is free hockey, baby. This is free hockey. So, guys, I, I'm just seeing our stream kind of just ate it at some point. Our Wi-Fi broke. But here's Schultz. And Schultz oh, gets it through. It. And Fisai wins. It's over. Fisai wins. Dylan Schultz. Who scored the game leading goal with 40 seconds to go before Jonathan Shaw tied it up, which we missed on our broadcast by accident? Phi Sai wins in a shootout, and they're going to the championship game. This is nuts, man. Dylan Schultz, the only one from either team to knock it in on the shootout, and they are going to the championship. I want to I want to see this game again. Captain. What a game. Can we give him one more period? I mean, I said at the end of the last game, too. Oh, I just don't want this to stop. What a victory. An upset, too. And for the second straight game, it's a 3-2 shootout win. Data Kai had the bye. Got upset. Half the team didn't even want to go in the handshake line. I don't know how you guys wanted to interpret that, but... I mean, I think it's some bad sportsmanship. I would agree. But on the battlefield, things do get heated. So five sides to the championship. They're going to play Capsig at 1030 in about 90 minutes here on Fans Only Sports. Coming up next, though, we have another, you know, mini game. Starting in about 10 minutes. We might start a little bit early, actually. And then the third place game. We'll be at 9.30 in a different stream. We'll keep this stream up for these mini games, but what a victory for Fisai, and what a final half we just had as well. Insane hockey. I mean, what? I think we had two goals in the final minute? Yeah. Ridiculous. We got to apologize to uh, Theta Kai. We missed the game tying goal oh. due to our stream kind of just eating it at one point, but we, have, we do greatly apologize. You got the end. I guess it's all that matters. Exactly. You get to see him play a little bit more. So Tough time to get your stream. You know, struggling for a sec, but it's okay. We bounce back, exactly. like Big Sean, and we are going to have a lot of fun. Here, we got two more games, a third place game, and then the, obviously the championship. I don't know what I'm most excited for. The mini games, the championship, the third place game. I think they're all going to be great. I'm not sure what we got out here on the ice right now, though. 
Yeah, we're gonna see what's going on here next. It, it, it looks like pucks, but I don't. I don't think they're pucks. They got some kind of color on top of them. I mean, the craziest thing. I mean, Theta Kai had two power plays. They go 0 for 2, and they give up a goal. Yeah, I mean. You can't give up a shorty in, in crunch time. I mean, that's it, it's not a recipe to success, I'll tell you that. It, the power plays are just perimeter, just passing it around. It That's not going to do anything, especially in a short game like this. You get one power play, that's, that's maybe like almost half the period right there. I don't think we, we've seen a single power play goal today. No, we have not. Team. But we have another contest. This is the final of the mini games today. We got a baseball helmet out here. Back, see how that plays for. Her. Again, quick shout out to Cap Six jerseys. I mean, those things are clean. You can see Cotter out there right now, 28. But back-to-back -back shootout games. Jake, yeah. I mean, this has been incredible today. Nuts. You know, it's a great atmosphere here, obviously. And not not one blowout. Not one blowout. And, I mean, Theta Kai had the bye, and they get upset. Each game has been decided by a goal. Yeah, exactly. Which, you know, we don't see a whole lot of. I mean, if you're going to ask me who I think is going to win this whole thing, your guess is as good as mine. All right, we got a ragtag group of kids out there on the ice. We got shoes, shorts, got a baseball helmet, goalie mask. Now Meg's going to get us going here. Still not sure exactly what it is that they are doing, but it looks like some kind of a long shot challenge as well. But these pucks, are just, they got colors on them. So I don't know what those really mean or what the significance of those are, but we're going to find out together. <laughs> the baseball helmet, I mean, every time I see it, it just doesn't look right. But, oh, the game of inches there. Another good shot. So, I mean, we've seen this one before. Basically looks like the long shot challenge again. Oh. That one didn't get there, but good line on it. That's a clap bomb. That one goes into the corner. I'm not really sure. What, I think we're playing some kind of game right now because they're not aiming for the net. I think this is like... Yeah, I think it's like some kind of like maybe bocce. You got to put the puck in a certain spot. I, I'm really not sure. Or maybe you got to get that puck on the dot. Oh, that that looks pretty close. I think I think they're shooting for the dot. I think you're right. I think they're shooting for the dot. Let's see what we got here. We got shoes on the ice, sneakers, Adidas. Shout out Adidas. That's got good pace. Ooh. It just goes a little too far. I mean, we only got one puck in the circle, so I'd probably say that one's in the lead right now. But, ooh. Aerial tactic there. More sneakers here. She chooses for the slap shot technique. Oh, just slides out of that circle. All right, what do we got here? That thing looks like it's on a pretty good trajectory. Sit, 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 sit. Ah. Oh. Time and time again, we see people throwing that puck in the corner. If I'm standing in line right now watching everybody, maybe I tell myself to take a little bit off of it. I don't know. There it is. There it is. 
It's a heck of a shot from the goalie helmet right there. Yeah, he's flexing to the fans. He's having a good time. Who's not having a good time right now? I mean, it's the Boss Ice Arena. It's Monday night. I don't know where else you'd rather be. That one's going to go a little bit. Oh! Now, maybe that's a technique that we should maybe consider. Banking that thing off the boards. That looks a little bit too hot. Great line, but the power a little bit too much there. All right, now we got Meg and her, uh, her team going over there to check out the results. Only two pucks in the circle. I'm assuming they're probably worth something, but no one was able to get that puck right on that dot. Now, folks, I also would be... It wouldn't be right if I didn't let you guys know that Paisai is all the way in the finals without a member on the URI hockey team, which a rule in this tournament is you are allowed to have one superstar who can maybe try to carry your team. They chose not to take anybody to their team, which was interesting because they were the only team to do so. Oh, we got a win here. Capsig with the win on the... So I believe Capsig just won that mini event. Good for them. They're looking to take home another trophy a little bit later on, though, in the championship. But as I was saying, we're going to have two totally different teams. We're going to have Capsig, who has three of arguably the best players on the URI team, maybe, against a team with nobody on the team. So is it going to be the skilled team that wins, or is it going to be the determination and willpower of a group of guys who just coming together and want to win a tournament for the boys. We're going to find out a little bit later. All right, so we got some new contestants out here. Going to try to put this thing on the dot. Lot, not as easy as it looks, folks. I'll tell you that. No. Again, we want to appreciate everything that all the people who have put this on for us have done. It goes a long way, and it truly, really, everyone, it means a lot to us. Right? I mean, everyone, I, it's my first year at this school, but the second I got on campus, the first, one of the first things one of my buddies told me was, you're going to play in the Frat Classic? So this seems like an event that most, most of the people around here look forward to, and it takes a lot to get it going. It's not easy, but we're glad they do it for us. So shout out to them. Uh, I mean, oh, sweet, so yeah. So I was, I'm trying to tell. I think it's either a bike helmet or a ski helmet here on one of the contestants. To me, it looks like a ski helmet, but I, I don't know. I, if she turns around, if it's got the goggles holder, that'll be the telling sign, but. It's been very fun to see what most of the contestants bring out there as a bucket on their dome piece today. Also, shout out to whoever's been on Ox this whole time because it, it, they haven't missed a single song. Right now we got Rihanna going. And Timmy just brought us some popcorn. We're gonna watch, oh! First shot, almost on the dot. That might be the closest one of the night so far, honestly. So what we got here, Timmy, is basically it's accuracy shooting. They got to try to get the puck on the dot. Another accuracy challenge. Yep. All so right. So far, we haven't. Had, we've only had two pucks in the circle. No pucks have hit the dot. A couple close ones. Yeah, three now. True. That was my mistake. That one. It's got a good line, but I don't think she's gonna get there. Yeah. Not a bad attempt, though. Good try. Very good try. Oh, that one's coming in hot. Yeah, a little too far on that one, but like like we've said, it takes a lot of guts to get up here and do this in front of a whole crowd of people. Well, that could be that could be there. Ooh. Now here's an idea that I just spawned in my head. If I'm a contestant, do I try to maybe hit that puck that's on the dot, knock theirs in the corner, and mine gets closer? Kill two birds with one stone? That might be a good idea. 
Well, here, I think oh. you're better off just aiming for whatever you're supposed to aim for than another puck. I would agree. Oh, yep. Ski helmet with the shot. Oh! Went right through the dot, but just didn't want to stop on the dot. Just wide on the right side this time. Time and time again, everyone's putting that puck in the corner. It's going to take a little something off of it. There's a good one. Look at this guy. He brought the 11s out on the ice. I respect that. Will it get there, though? No. Close. Look at this one. Coming in hot. Oh. And again, we're going to have our judges go check out where those pucks landed. Looks like we got three pucks in the circle this time. A couple maybe on the line. Not sure if they get points for that. Top three teams are moving on. So this is an elimination style game. Going to listen in to see who's getting kicked out and who's moving on. So I think that puts a wrap on this mini game for them. We're going to have more contestants come out now for the next round. So it seems like they took three people from the first group of contestants and they're going to take three more from the other group of contestants to move on. I mean, this one, it's just... I definitely missed too much of this. <laughs> it's a complicated <laughs> one, I'll tell you that. Yeah. But, like the great Jimmy V documentary, all you got to do is survive in advance right now. Amen. Rest in peace, Jimmy V. Rest in peace. We got Matty V getting these great shots, though, <laughs> for us. He's alive and well. Great shots. Going to give a shout-out to the Greek life here at URI as well. Amazing turnout. I've actually never, i played maybe 30 games in this rink this year. Never seen this many people in this place before. So that's great. Usually it's all your parents. Usually it's only parents. And us. Yeah. And exactly. you know, other exactly. teams' parents. A lot of opposing teams be coming to the Boss Ice Arena. And you, hopefully they don't leave happy. not want to play because they lost and they were being poor sports, I'll, I'll let everybody know. Who was it? I'm going to give him a little shit. Alright, right, just in, info, folks. Is that, Jake, you can, you can give the break. We've got some breaking news. Some breaking moves, move, move. Shocking turn of events. Unfortunately, folks, we are now no longer playing the third place consolation game as Theta Kai chose not to play. Why they wow. did that, we don't know. Some could say it was a little bit of poor sportsmanship after taking a loss because I believe they did not shake the opponent's hands either after the game, which is usually a very respectful thing to do so. So unfortunately for you guys, we're not going to get another hockey game, but I'll tell you what, this championship game will probably be enough for us. Sure will, and you know we're going to have a good time doing this, of course. So Teak goes down as the third place 
winners because of a forfeit. But they don't ask how, so Teak is on the podium. They will be having the bronze medal. Go pee, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to update the uh, the time of our next stream. So the third place stream not happening. It will not be going on. Theta Kai has forfeited. So Teak is your third place winner. Here of the URI Frat Classic. All right, Zamboni action about to take place. So we're going to go to uh, the final g stream. So we're going to end this stream, start the next. Coming up next, the championship game. Cap Sig taking on five side to declare the winner of the 2024 URI Greek Life Hockey Classic. See you guys soon.